Welcome back to King of Retail. The supermarket is finally complete. We're going to have a quick look around and then run through a day. So let's get started. So as you can see, the supermarket is finally complete. We'll have a quick look around first um, and see where everything is. Um, then we'll, we'll run through a day and just see how much money we can make from a day. So, so as you can see, this first section um, is all our fruit and veg. Is it in a bit of a random order? We have got quite a few potatoes. But this kind of is the store of, uh, or the layout of my uh, local store. So um, I tried to copy that as much as I could. Um, this first bit in my local store is like a news, news agent type stuff with magazines and stuff. Obviously we can't have them in this game yet. So let's head down then to the refrigerator section. So here we've got things like meats, um, we've got fish. All over here we've got just chicken, so the, the two different types of chicken. And if we head round, here we've got the, I think that's the frozen veg, or the refrigerator veg section and we've got like sandwich meats and then we've got pizzas sausages and soups so if we keep carry on heading down here so there are a couple of gaps here and there and uh, just where i've just not restocked the products and um, so here we've kind of got the uh, the herbs and um, some healthy foods down at the end and if we carry on heading down so this is the uh so here we've got the, um, the instant meals and um, that kind of stuff. Here we've got a nice aisle of coffee uh, with sugars and cake mixers. So this is the part here where we kind of, it's a bit different to my local store. So here we've got the cereals. So we've got quite a few different types of cereals. Here in my local store along the back, um, they've actually got, so they've got drinks kind of around here, a big section for drinks. Um, and they've actually got a bakery down here. So with all the fresh bread and, and things like that, which is things that desperately need to add into this game. So then we head down to the, uh, down here. So then we've got kind of chips and things like that and crisps. We've got the refrigerator section. So here we're down there. We've got all the the uh, fries and uh, chicken and I think they're onion rings at the end. Yep. And then we've got some sauces. So again, this is slightly different as well. So here we've on my local store we've got uh, kind of chocolates and sweets, um, but we don't have them. So we've got sauces instead. Then we head into the cleaning section. So we've actually had this little bit for quite some time. So we've got all the different cleaning products. And then last but not least, so we've got the a few clothing items. So here I have gone for the, the cheapest clothing item because that's normally what you find in a, a supermarket type place. Um, it's kind of more of your value clothing lines. So um, we've just got uh, some pants and some um, t-shirts some trousers and it's still only got two checkouts um, a third one may help uh, just because the, the queues do sometimes get a bit long but um, that's okay so that's the store uh, I actually think it looks pretty good and um, probably could have done with putting some signs here and there um, but uh, maybe that's an improvement I could do for next time Right, so let's end the day. I'm going to almost run out of money. Hopefully we'll have all this stuff in. I do keep asking for pay rises, but I'm afraid no one's having a pay rise. I don't need to order any stock. It's all laid out. So I've got a number of staff now. That's kind of enough to keep everything ticking over nicely. The restockers probably aren't going to have much to do. Uh, I think that guy, Dallin, has 
Okay, so he's one of the sales guys. Um, he can't use his stars. Uh, okay, so let's start the day. And we'll see how many customers we can get in and how much money we can make from a day. So what I am probably going to do is keep this store, um, and, and as they add, um, as the game gets new products, um, hopefully they'll have more grocery products. Um, like I said, bread would be a really good one. Um, drink, different types of drink would be good as well. So you kind of your oranges, your maybe even beers, and wine and things like that. That would be good. Chocolate and sweets are definitely one that they've got to add in. So let's hope the uh, store opens soon. Uh, one thing I did suggest that they add in as well, which quite a few stores um, local to me now have, are the self-service checkouts. So where they have kind of, you, you scan your own shopping and then um, then just pay for it. And then they normally have one member of staff looking after like six or seven self-checkouts. Just show you around the storeroom as well, so it has grown quite a bit. So I've still got enough room in here. Kind of at the back to add more stuff, but I don't actually need to now. So I do have a marketing guy. I think he starts at nine. So we'll stand back here, we'll speed up everything, time for three. I n do normally end up help restocking the shelving, just because some areas, um, one restocker isn't enough. And occasionally the, uh, the registers get need help, so um, like now when someone's on a break, and um, I go and help out there. The one thing that does fly off the shelf at the minute is the uh, the clothing line. I've only kind of kept enough in stock to uh, to fill it up at the beginning of the day. So by the end of the day, it's normally all gone. So as you can see, we get lots of customers. In fact, I'm just going to stand on this one for now. It's really easy to lose customers. One thing I wish they did is when if a line on a register is too long, um, it's not just walk off. Because sometimes you have a, a register next to it that's got no line, um, which they could join. I'm going to try and get off this so the guy can come back. The actual member of staff. There we go. No point in me working hard when I've got members of staff. So let's go back over here. So I think we had about a thousand at the beginning of the day, so we're probably halfway through the day and we're up to 16,000. 17,000, because then the next shift of staff comes in. I've actually got it now so it actually hands over quite smoothly because at one point I was finding that uh, the registers were kind of not being filled but now they, they kind of transition quite nicely although that one's not transitioned that nicely. Okay there we go. I have tweaked a couple of the prices as well on a couple of things so there was some stuff that just didn't sell at all um, especially this type of stuff, um, which is still not sold that well today, but um, it's slightly better than it was. Just restock a couple of these bits. The instant meals go super fast. See, the clothing's almost, well, pretty much all gone. 
It's just a couple of items. Hey, have a minute. So I probably could add some more clothing uh, stock. So we're nearly at seven o'clock. Are we going to get to thirty thousand by seven o'clock? Looks like we may just do it. Yes. So I've still kept the opening and closing angles the same. So it's eight till ten, I think. Which is why we have to have two shifts. You can't make your staff work the full day. They don't like it. So although we we do bring in quite a bit of money, um, it does cost us quite a bit of money in staff wages. And I think it's also 5,000 for rent each day. So we're coming up to the end of the day. People still got customers coming in though. The potatoes I have dropped down slightly and made them slightly cheaper. That's why I was at the void of speed. And did that because I had a huge amount of stock of them. So that's it, that's the that's the day ended. So we've ended up with thirty nine thousand two hundred and ninety and nine pence. Are you going home? There we go. Right, let's end the day. We'll have a look at our stats. So as you can see, we've spent a huge amount on wages and rent. Which take a big chunk out of our um, profits. So visitors 253 and customers 209. Uh, basket size 1.91, uh, average sale 183. So that's pretty good. Hit rate of 83%. So I think that's a pretty good day. By the time we add in, let's just add in, find the restock. Let's have a look how much profit we'd make. Yeah, so we made about 10,500 profit. A 399 article sold, so that's actually really good. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, King of Retail series uh, 2. I am probably going to move on to another game uh, for a little bit, just until the next update of King of Retail comes out. And um, Once that comes out, we'll look at the new products and we'll probably add them to this store, um, especially if they're kind of food and things like that. I have also obviously got the uh, the Tech Hench store um, with all the electronics and things like that. So if they do release electronic goods, um, they can go in that store. So thanks for everyone for watching this series. Hope everyone's liked it. Don't forget to go and follow me on Twitter, at TechHench. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe as well. And we'll see you next time.